In this video, we're going to focus on adding and subtracting complex numbers together. So if you look on the screen here, you'll notice that I have two complex numbers written in that form of a plus bi. So here is one number and here is the other. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to subtract them together. I can see that symbol in the middle. So what I'm going to do here in order to subtract these is I'm first going to think about what I can do to get rid of these parentheses. Now you should remember from previously in your algebra career that if you have nothing or a positive out in front of your parentheses, it's really a distribution of one. So what we can do to that first parenthesis is we can just distribute a positive one and rewrite it as seven minus six i. Then from here, the second parenthesis has a negative out in front of it. So if we use keep change change here and we throw in a one, what we realize here is this subtraction is actually saying it's a distribution of negative one. So if we distribute that negative one, we have negative one times three, which is a negative three. And then I'm going to use keep change change here quick, but I have negative one times negative six i, which is just a positive six i. So I start off by distributing out ones and negative ones accordingly. Then from here, I always recommend using keep change change if you struggle with your signs. But from here, we focus on combining the real parts together and the imaginary parts together. You cannot combine imaginary with real. With the eyes, they work like like terms. You can't combine them together. So what I notice here is that my real parts of 7 and negative 3, if I combine those together, become 4. If I then look at my imaginary parts, those imaginary parts together, negative 6 plus 6i become plus 0i. Now, if you have 0 times i, you don't really have to write that in there because 0 times anything is 0. So our final answer here would be the real number 4 with no imaginary part to it. So let's take a look at this next group of examples here. So here I can see that I have two complex numbers that I am adding together. To get rid of those parentheses, here I'm going to put a positive 1 out in front and distribute. So I have 8, and then that's minus 1i. And then here I have a plus sign, so this is a distribution of a positive 1 as well. So it's plus 5 plus 4i. So I start by distributing out all of those 1s. Then, as I suggested before, utilize keep change change so you don't make an error here and then combine your real parts and your imaginary parts. So here I see that 8 and 5 are the real parts. So I'm going to combine those together to get 13. And then I have negative 1i and 4i, which are the imaginary parts. And those combine together to be 3i. So my final answer here after I add those two complex numbers together is 13 plus 3i. Now if I take a look at this second example here, it looks like it's written a little bit differently. We have a real number at first, and then we have a complex number that is imaginary in the middle, and then we have a pure imaginary number at the end. So what I'm going to start off doing here is I'm just going to get rid of my parentheses by distributing here a negative 1 because of that subtraction. So if I distribute that, I end up with 13 plus negative 2 plus negative 7i plus 5i. And now that I've gotten rid of all of the parentheses, I'm going to focus on combining like parts. So here I see that my real values here are 13 and negative 2, so I'm going to combine those together to get 11. And then I see that my imaginary parts are negative 7i and 5i, and if I combine those together, I get negative 2i. And then if you don't like writing your answer as keep change change, you could also write this as 11 minus 2i. Either answer would be acceptable.